Well, it is the same city that banned Happy Meals, outlawed sitting on the sidewalks during the day, and fined residents for not sorting their garbage. Now one man wants to add a new law to the books in San Francisco, a ban on circumcisions for anyone under age 18. Parents who violate the ban could go to jail for a year and pay a hefty fine. Lloyd Schofield is the self-described intactivist behind the proposed ban, and he joins me live. Lloyd, you, you support this movement. You need to get 7,500 or so signatures uh, uh, down in order for this to go to the ballot on, in November. You say you're about halfway there. Why on earth would you want to take this choice away from parents? We want to put it in uh, the choice in the hands of the person who's actually receiving the, uh, the uh, surgery, and that's uh, the man himself. Okay, but and actually, it's not a circumcision ban. It's uh, circumcision is really male circumcision uh, is cosmetic surgery. There's not one medical association in the world that recommends it. Um, so when people become 18, they can do whatever they want with their bodies. But uh, men need to have the choice preserved for them if this is something that they want to do and men do not want to have this done. Now, it has to be done the, to men when they are young and vulnerable. The American Academy uh, also of Pediatrics. Have, Hold on, Lloyd, works better exception. if I ask some questions and then you give some answers. It's been nicer to have a back and Sure, forth. sure. The American Academy of Pediatrics uh, is sort of neutral on it, saying, you know, the parents can do what they want. It's not ne medically necessary, but it's not medically dangerous. So they reject your theory that this is somehow inherently problematic or, or poses uh, health risks to the children. Well, no, actually, if you look at uh, Stanford Medical School's website, there's 18 different, uh, a list of 18 complications from surgery that ranging possible, from rare, infection and bleeding. They say possible, but rare. Up to rare. death. Uh, babies, uh, several babies in the United States just died this year from b bleeding. But Lloyd, I think anecdotally, anecdotally, a lot of our viewers are watching this thinking, you know, obviously it is still the majority custom in America. And they're thinking, you know, it's done on millions and has been done on millions of baby boys without problems. And isn't it, shouldn't it be, remain, I should say, up to their parents who, who have their best interests at heart to make the decision for them? Certainly parents have uh, their best interests at heart, but uh, actually the CDC figures uh, that just came out uh, indicate that 66% uh, of uh, neonatal males are left uh, intact. So parents really get this already. In America, 66% uh, of baby boys are, are now? CDC figures. Yep. I don't know, Lloyd. That's not what I saw in the research I looked at. But listen, you, so, you, so you want to put these parents in jail if they do this? Because the, the research actually says if you wait until you're older, you know, past the time you're a baby, and then you decide to have a circumcision, it's more dangerous. And there are then certain health risks that you really need to consider. No, it's actually easier when you're older because uh, a natal, uh, when babies, male babies are born, the foreskin is actually fused to the head of the penis. And it has to be surgically ripped off from the head of the penis and removed. All right, now you've succeeded, now nobody, you've succeeded in making uh, every man on the crew much. uncomfortable and all of my male viewers. But listen, you well, know, the, the, those behind us say, though, that it's done humanely. They use a topical anesthetic. A lot of the babies sleep through it. And for the, those in the Jewish religion, it's, it's actually a religious uh, custom that they feel they have actually a, a constitutional right to observe. I'll give you the last word, sir. Well, I've never heard of a baby leaping through it, but I do know babies going into shock and bursting lungs from screaming. And actually, Jews are really kind of ahead of the curve on this. They've come up with a ceremony that's a wonderful ceremony called Brit Shalom. It's the celebration without harming the guest of honor. All right, And there's Lloyd. a lot of rabbis that are practicing that Well, now. we'll see. We'll see if in San Francisco uh, this goes through. He's trying to get it on the ballot, which it would go to the voters in November. And, uh, you know, like I say, they ban the Happy Meal. Who knows what's next? Lloyd, listen, thanks for coming on. Thank you.